The Way Home or Face the Fire The Survival Plan for All Human Plus Beings Chapter 8 The Shining Example The Light of the World The love of money is the root of evil. Simplicity is the best way. Always seek the simple things in life. It is not the man who has the most that is rich, but the man who needs the least. The man who needs the least is rich because he has more freedom, not being a slave to material possessions, mammon, and does not have to slave his life away to obtain material objects that he can never keep either for himself or for his wife. Nothing in this world lasts forever and nothing is perfect as an incentive to leave the things of this world and go home where things are perfect and live forever. Even Jesus was not perfect whilst in this world and he said so openly. Matthew 19.17 and Luke 18.19 Matthew 19.17 And he said unto them, Why callest me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Luke 18.19 And Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? None is good, save one, that is God. It is not possible to be absolutely perfect whilst wearing a human animal body, with all the temptation of this world. The fact that even Jesus was not perfect should give everyone more encouragement to strive harder to be like him. He told you how to get God's help and guidance to overcome your temptation by doing God's will, the Lord's Prayer. Your will shall be done on earth as it is done in heaven. Matthew 6.10, 7.21, and 12.50. Matthew 6.10, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Matthew 7.21, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, only he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Matthew 12:50. For whosoever shall do the will of my Father which is in heaven, the same is my brother, sister, and mother. He told you how to get God's help and guidance to overcome your temptation by doing God's will. The Lord's Prayer, Your will shall be done on earth as it is in heaven and by keeping the commandments, including the 11th and 12th. 11th, John 13.34 and 15.12. John 13.34 A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another, as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. 15.12 This is my commandment, that ye love one another, as I have loved you. And 12th, Matthew 7.1 Judge not that ye be not judged, that he gave personally to his disciples, Matthew 5.19, John 14.21, Revelation 14.12 and 22. In the King of Kings Bible, it's Revelation 14.12 and 30.14. Matthew 5.19, Whosoever shall break one of these least commandments, and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. John 14:21 He that hath my commandments and keepeth them he it is that loveth me and he that loveth me shall be loved of my father and I will love him and will manifest myself to him Revelation 14:12 Here is the patience of the holy ones here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus King of Kings Bible Revelation 30:14 Blessed are they that keep and do his commandments that they may have the right to the tree of life and shall share divine love, and know paradise and bliss, and may enter in through the straight gates into the city, New Jerusalem. Cross-reference Matthew 7.13-14 Enter ye in the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way, that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. To get God's help, Jesus said that you have to be born again in the Spirit. John 3, 3 to 6. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water, human, and then is born later, from above as spirit being the real self which is not human he cannot enter into the kingdom of god who is a spirit being that which is born of the flesh is human and that which is born of the spirit is spirit a spirit being a human plus being 
To get God's help, Jesus said that you have to be born again in the Spirit and become like little children. Matthew 18.3-4, Mark 10.15, and Luke 18.17. Matthew 18.3-4 And he said, Verily, I say unto you, Except ye be converted, and then become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself, as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Mark 10:15 Verily I say unto you whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child he shall not enter therein Luke 18:17 Verily I say unto you whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child shall in no wise enter therein To get God's help Jesus said that you have to be born again in the spirit and become like little children with childlike 100% not childish faith and trust in God's protection being, quote, born again of the Spirit means that you must be born again as your spirit and stop thinking of yourself as being a human and start to think of yourself as being your real self, your spirit, soul, and act accordingly. Whilst ever you think of yourself as being a human and think in a human way, you automatically condemn yourself to always being a human until you are executed on the last day. You must become your spirit, real self, and control the body and not the other way around, where the animal body controls you. God's secrets are hidden from those who, quote, think they are wise, prudent, and who are arrogant and are revealed to babes. Matthew 11.25 and Luke 10.21 People born again in the Spirit, Matthew 18.3-4 and Luke 10.21 and John 3.3 3. Matthew 11.25 at that time Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hid these things from the wise and the prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes. Luke 10.21 In that hour Jesus rejoiced in spirit and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. Matthew 18.3-4 and he said, Verily I say unto you, Except ye be converted, and then become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever, therefore, shall humble himself as this little child, the same is great in the kingdom of heaven. Luke 10.21 In that hour Jesus rejoiced in spirit, and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and the prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for it seemed good in thy sight. John 3.3 3. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. God is spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in and with their spirit being, and in truth. John 4.24 Always being truthful. John 4.24 God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in their spirit being, and in truth. Jesus explained that mothers and fathers are not really your mother and father, but that the bodies that they are using made the body that you are using, but that they did not make your soul any more than their parents' bodies made their souls. Matthew 12.47-50 and John 6.42 Matthew 12.46 While he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto him, that told him, Who is my mother, and who are my brethren? And stretched forth his hands towards his disciples, and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren, for whosoever shall do the will of my Father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. John 6.42 And they said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How is it then that he said, I came down from heaven? That does not mean that you should disown them or treat them any differently. He also explained that when you start to do God's will, quote, a man's enemy will be the people of his own household. Love your enemies into changing, because the devil will use them and human animal emotion to try to pull you back from doing God's will. Matthew 10, 34-37, Luke 12, 51-53, and 14, 26, 27, and 33. Matthew 10.34 Think not that I come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Cross-reference Revelation 1.16 For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. 
and that a man's foe shall be they of his own household. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and he that loveth son or daughter or any one or any thing more than me is not worthy of me. Luke 12.51 Suppose ye that I come to give peace on earth? I tell you no, but rather a division. For from henceforth there shall be five in one household divided, three against two, two against three. The father shall be divided against the son, and the son against the father, and the mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother, and the mother-in-law against the daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. 14.26 and 27 If any man come to me, and hate not his father and mother, and wife, and children, and brethren, and sister, yea, and his own human life, also he cannot be my disciple. And whosoever doth not bear his cross, and come after me, he cannot be my disciple. So likewise, whosoever he be of you, that forsaketh not all that he hath, he cannot be my disciple. Satan will use the members of your family, because they are the nearest to you, and are the people you appreciate most, and of whom you normally take the most notice, and whose advice you usually cherish and respect. Mika 7, six. For the son dishonoreth the father, and the daughter rise up against the mother, the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a man's enemies are the men of his own house. Satan will use them without their knowledge or understanding what they are doing, so you cannot blame them directly for their words or actions. They will try to advise you whilst genuinely believing that they have your best interest at heart. However, they will be advising you from a material and human point of view, not a spiritual point of view, because they do not know about spiritual matters in God's magic. They do not know that God is real, and they do not know what you have already found out from God himself since you started talking to him directly and properly and started doing his will for you. Don't get upset, be firm, and strive to convince them that you are right. Don't let Satan trick you into becoming angry and making the situation worse, and don't run away. Explain to them calmly and lovingly the magic of direct communication with God himself, and love them into seeing your point of view, and strive to get them to talk to God directly themselves. If you don't, they are all going to die on the last day, and you don't want that to happen to people you love, do you? Love conquers all.